If you have a WordPress website with a Zodiac ads and struggling with download speed, today I'm going to show you some serious kung fu to help you speed up your site and also have a great user experience with, which will definitely help to increase the bottom revenue of the site. The metrics in front of you is on a staging site uh, that has a Zodiac ads displaying also it uh, has video ads which is known to make your site slow zodiac integrated website with video floating video ads will download if it's well optimized around about 12 seconds and this particular site i got to load below 10 seconds i'm going to show you exactly what i've done here or at least all the biggest impactors uh, um, how to get this metric Overall, the report on the desktop looks great. It is just mobile that we're always concerned about. Uh, that's it. Let's jump into a Zodiac dashboard. We can quickly just review the settings in here. Once we're done with the Zodiac, we'll move on into WordPress and I'll show you all the um, advanced configurations done within WordPress. Cloudflare is integrated. Uh, Cloudflare is essential for getting good metrics with the system. All the configurations are designed to complement Cloudflare. In optimization settings, uh, so there's one thing that is of great importance when we work with these settings. If your website was built properly with proper themes that is not giving code conflict, you will most likely be able to activate most of these settings um, and not even have to configure much here uh, because uh, everything is just working flawless. If you start activating these settings and you see your website breaks, the problem likely is to do with how the site was built the theme and so forth. So we can quickly just run through all these settings. So given that Cloud, um, Zodiac or Cloudflare is already integrated, firstly, CSS settings. This is something that will most likely, uh, if your website breaks, this is one of the first places that you can come and look at. So um, just be careful preloading fonts. This will sometimes slow down your site. Typically, I deal with fonts by loading it locally from my server. And that is pretty important. And also, the way your server handles compression, that will have a big impact. We'll speak about server compression and caching in a second because there's a lot of uh, information to cover on that ground. Um, remove unused CSS. I typically have good results with this. Optimizing slow loading fonts. Be careful careful test it it will slow down your site critical css is all is good to um, to um, have on but if you use critical css just be be uh, um, just make sure you understand how these files are handled because if it breaks you will have to come into exclusion rules and then troubleshoot the problem if you have a complex site that has a lot of code errors uh, just keep this css this act deactivated there's other ways we can speed up the site. In terms of images, uh, lazy loading, this section here is not only lazy loading, it helps us to serve the images in WebP format like here in the bottom. WebP format is essential when we uh, shrink images, we compress them and then serve them to the client and this will um, shrink down your images up to 50 to 60 percent so definitely worth having but before you start optimizing these images be sure to go into wordpress and make sure that your images are, is um, right out of the gate optimized so you typically will import those images within a uh, photo editor and then scale them down so it fits exactly within your screen image resize this will solve a lot of errors within your dashboard also preload background images i always have bad results with this i'll keep this off set explicit with and heights this is also to do with errors within your diff tools the idea is when we have diff tools running what we essentially want to do is we want to come and have a look and see if there's any errors sitting up here. So for this particular site, uh, there's no errors and that is great. Meaning um, if you got a lot of errors like mixed content, all this, the, the best possible um, result will be when you resolve all those errors. These errors will typically cause latency on your server response time.
So let's go on to the next settings, static cache. Uh, this is a great setting. Um, you can activate all of them. Just be careful with fonts, depending on how you're handling your fonts. If you're using Google fonts, then yes, this will help. But like I say, mainly I serve my fonts locally and that will make a tremendous difference with the way that your website loads. A pre-connect, you can keep this on. This um, will definitely help uh, to improve some of your metrics. A minimum minify content, I rarely have good uh, results with this. If I see the website is giving too much code conflict, I don't even bother with this uh, because the gains that you will receive is not that great. We are mainly focused on user experience and not the actual metrics. And I will show you this in a second. Script execution, this is where you can gain a lot of traction. So for uh, this website, um, I didn't, I don't know why I didn't activate these, but I'll quickly go through this. So we can simply go and say, uh, change settings, I understand or know how the site was built and activate this. And like I say, if your website um, has got no code, code errors, you will not need to do any configuration here. You simply activate this and it will, um, do the rest for you. If you activate this and you see your website is having slightly issues, then you'll have to come in, find the late scripts. And now it gives us all the scripts that is loading on the site. I only have a couple and that is to do with how the site was built. I'm not going to activate this because I haven't tested it, but there's not going to be much ground to gain since I don't have a lot of files here in the back end. Uh, so we can just go out of this. Um, another good uh, setting here is disabling the ads above the fold and if we go to the home page above the fold will be this section that you can see as soon as you load it uh, for good user experience i'll disable this but for maximum revenue you can keep this disabled reduce intensive cpu tasks this is great and it's definitely going to help reduce some of that metrics that we um that we're having issues with within uh, google insights jquery this is uh, something that can slow down your site the first one that you want to test is loading the jquery from your cdn the reason for this is now you can deactivate jquery on your website but the jquery will still be loaded just from your from the zodiac cdn this will lighten the load slightly of your server and also will have a great impact when it comes to speed next activate now those settings are active in Content, lazy loading YouTube and these kind of things, you can test it out, uh, but don't be too much concerned about them. In some cases, it will make an impact. Optimized tweets and these kind of things, I don't have this active on my site, so it's not really doing anything on my site. Go to cache. From here, you have two metrics. If you're caching in optimize tab is configured correctly, then you will notice you will have a high ca uh, hit rate of cache, meaning that this is the amount of uh, files that's being accessed from your Zodiac server. And that is great when because it lightens the load from your server. Uh, so this is a good way to quickly check if everything is configured properly. We can simply activate or disable caching and you ha do have a clear all cache within this dashboard. Cloudflare is an extremely potent CDN that you can integrate with your site. So some of the, some advantages of why you want Cloudflare is for security. I'm going to quickly give you a, a visual representation. I'm going to copy this URL. I'm going to go into incognito mode. And we want to go to the login page. You can see that you, there's a Cloudflare firewall querying us if we are human. We need to select yes. And now that we now we can view the login page. The reason why we have this firewall in front of the login page is because over time, when your site becomes popular or more known, then you'll get a lot of hacker attacks via your login page. The problem with this is all these failed login attempts will essentially keep your server resources busy and then you won't have enough for your actual users. By eliminating all these failed login attempts, you will essentially keeping your server more healthy and more responsive. Security tab and how this is configured. And when we go to security, you'll notice there's so many uh, uh, block attempts and all these managed challenges. This is a, 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 a manual firewall that's been placed and I'm going to show you how this is done. Um, there's about 400 items or blocked login attempts. It makes a big impact. The first firewall we're going to do is block challenge. 
and we can quickly go here and say edit and see how that rule looks like. What we do is we pick URL path. It needs to contain particular words and the words we're looking for is VP login page. If the URL contains VP login and in fact we can just say we can just say login as well. Uh, we can go down then to take action and from here there's multiple options. What you want to do is kick uh, use interactive challenge because the managed challenge sometimes have a redirect issue uh, so it's just better to do it uh, manually and since it's only the administrator that mainly works with this page it's not a big problem uh, you can simply say deploy and that will um, activate the login challenge the other block or firewall on here is optional bots this is a really good extra rule uh, the most of your Spam will be blocked with the other rule, but uh, bot fight mode is always great to active activate. It will account for at least 25% of all the block attempts. That said, uh, this is to this is the most basic firewall rules that you can get away with with the WordPress site. Tab speed optimization. These um, these settings that is not available with the pro upgrade. I'm actually uh, um, activating these settings through my server, so I don't need to activate this within Cloudflare. So you don't need to upgrade to the pro version. Content optimization. Broly is important for compression, but I also have Broly compression straight from my server, which makes this process a lot faster. And this is also why the server is so responsive. I'm not going to go into much depth because we're going to cover Broly and all those configurations once we move into WordPress dashboard. The only um, a couple of things here. Uh, do not activate rocket loader. It's going to cause issues. Do not auto modify. It's going to cause issues with the Zodiac. All these settings active, the ones that is available. Like mine, it will definitely help to speed up your HTTPS protocol. Uh, this is um, to do with security and slightly uh, faster um, protocols. Just take note that you do have some cache on Cloudflare that needs to be cleared when you do development, but you can simply come in the dashboard, purge cache, or we can do this within our performance plugin. So the first thing that we want to take note of is the website health and this is a quick way to discover if there's something wrong with your site you can go down to tools site health info most of these problems will be fixed when you use the right hosting company if you see there's a lot of errors it is most likely your hosting that is causing issues you will all see just normal php where i'm highlighting or you'll see of fpm fpm stands for a faster PHP and this is essential when we have these sites when we integrate to Zodiac we're gonna have a lot of extra load on the server so we're gonna be focusing on getting the PHP as fast as possible so let me just put this in perspective WordPress is a database management system and not a website builder and so it stands to reason if we speed up the database which is also PHP then the site will be more responsive so all the optimization that's done on the site is not with your conventional plugins it is more to do with server side uh, um, caching and compression installed W3 cache and go down to setup guide and this is extremely important click next and what we are essentially now doing is we're going to be testing the server to see what kind of configurations your hosting server already have and this is where we make the most gains within your database basically it's now telling us that the server has got all these um, compression configured uh, redis is one of your most important if your server does not have redis um, configured you need to change hosting opcache is critical to speed up your database go down to the settings you do not want to have page cache activated it will conflict with the zodiac same as minification leave disabled what we are mainly concerned about is the the database optimization compression and this kind of thing so here we have opcache which is critical for the site it needs to be activated also database caching and object caching they both use redis we can pick a different one like memcache but redis will always outperform memcache essentially what redis is 
uh, it's an infrastructure for your database and it will help you to serve your database tables much quicker than usual. So this is essential. And uh, if you have these uh, settings active on your server, uh, it will make a huge impact in responsiveness. And let's just look at responsiveness in the front end. Immediately, the ads is displaying, the site is already almost down, uh, finished downloading. Pages change really quickly from a user perspective, really responsive. Go into DevTools. You can quickly uh, verify if your hosting is properly configured by looking at these files and just seeing, is there some compression being com applied to your site? We can see that your the files of the site is being served directly in Broly. Broly is a Google compression that will compress your files before it serves it to the user. And this is critical when you have or want to have a responsive site, essentially giving smaller packages to download to your user, speeding up this process tremendously. This particular server has got multiple compression. It also has zip configured. Tunnel guard. You're going to be looking for something like PHP selector. And this is a critical having this configured. When we speak about PHP, this is the engine of your website, PHP database. So um, it is a connection between this setting and how your database will be responding. When we go to the actual domain, it will give us this particular hosting, gives us multiple options. And again, you will see there is a, uh, these options are only FPM PHP, meaning it is the, the faster version. It is basically the pro version of PHP. Uh, this can be about 15% faster than normal PHP. So there is a big speed performance boost. Make sure that your website is at least on PHP version 8 or above. The site will still work on 7.4, but for speed terms uh, and compatibility, um, 8.0 or above is the most important. Go into PHP INI. So there's multiple ways we can configure this, but typically your server will have this already configured for you. And uh, when we look at these sections here, we can go into Tools, Site Health. To have a quick uh, file optimization on your site, you can use ASAP Cleanup Pro. The first tab, make sure that you uh, um, click this on, update, and now we can start changing. Let's go down to HTML source code, and from here, typically it's safe to remove all these sections. Local fonts, um, so this is where you can gain big traction. So I typically will go into Google Fonts, I will go to Remove, and I'll remove all Google Fonts within this plugin, and then I'll go ahead and activate uh, some local fonts. Then there's one other method that we can use to quickly lighten the load in the front end, and this is with CSS Java Manager. We've got all these plugins that is showing here in the front end, which is loading on our website. And so let's go to the home page. DevTools developers, once we're on the home page, we'll go down to cover and run this command. What we are seeing at the moment is the, the, the dev bar is showing us what scripts is needed for the page and which is not. So you can see this is pretty handy. Once we go down to unused bytes, it's showing us that this particular file is not loading on the site. But we can see this is a dash icon and we don't want to totally remove this. Otherwise, WordPress will not show its icons here. There's a different setting we can actually apply to uh, get a better result. And that would be site-wide unloads. You disable dash icons if toolbar is hidden. For users that doesn't need that dashboard, that code will not be loaded. I disable Java, um, jQuery. We can de deactivate it because we have a function within a Zodiac that is loading that uh, jQuery from the server, like I mentioned. We can find some more unused code. We can see this plugin is not needed for this particular page or not for the front end and simply search this again. So let's say if this file was 100% not loaded, we can simply come here, find the file and unload this on this page. And essentially it will be removed and then it will not load for this particular page. 